Juan Soto is being mentioned in quite a few rumors and trade talks, but I look at five teams that could potentially trade for him. Let's get into who they are. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Latacorte here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. Juan Soto is the hot topic of trade talk choice. There's a lot of rumors and chatters surrounding him. And while I'm not going to get into specific packages, I'm going to look at five different teams that potentially could try to acquire the services of Juan Soto. Now, let's be very clear. Any team and every team in Major League Baseball would absolutely be benefited by trading for and acquiring the services of the Washington Nationals outfielder. However, not all teams are going to be capable of plugging him into their lineup and actually trying to win. Now, that being said, there's also going to be question marks for certain teams here on this list as to whether or not they're close to competing enough to be able to try to sustain and acquire a player like this. The level of package for a player of this caliber in terms of prospects, capital, and major league ready talent that has to go back to Washington is going to be astronomical. And that's why we're not getting into what the package could be, but who the teams could potentially be. So we start with number five. And that fifth team is the Texas Rangers. Now, yes, they've already committed half a billion dollars, close to it, to Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager. And it has not worked out quite that well for them to this point in the season. However, when you look at what Texas has in their farm system, as well as being a team that is clearly trying to step up their game to the next level to go for it, acquiring the services of a guy like Juan Soto, and you can build around that three-headed monster of Seager, Soto, and Simeon. This is absolutely a powerhouse trio that could absolutely help the Rangers skyrocket to the top of that American League West division. Now, yes, there are still other questions and concerns around the Texas Rangers, but if you can bring Soto in to pair with those two, that is a very, very scary threat. You plug them in two, three, and four with Soto, Simeon, and Seager, and that is a dangerous, dangerous combination for the Texas Rangers. Now, as we look at number four on the list, this is a team that is always surrounding the top stars in the game, and it is that of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yes, the Dodgers already have so much money committed to the payroll, but they're so committed to winning. And this is why a player like Juan Soto would absolutely fit with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now, yes, there's already a plethora of superstars out there. Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Justin Turner, Trey Turner. There's a lot of talent already on that Dodgers roster. But there's always room to add a superstar caliber player like Juan Soto. When you add a this generation's version of Ted Williams, someone who understands the strike zone as well as Soto does, there is very little doubt that this improves your team. Again, this, this player could improve all 30 teams across Major League Baseball. There's no doubt about it. Whether he remains with the Nationals or gets traded away, he improves whatever team he is on. But if you add him to the powerhouse like the Dodgers, they're absolutely the runaway, hands-down favorites to win the World Series for the next 10 years. Now, as we look at the number three team, it is that of the New York Yankees. I think the Yankees are a team that could absolutely benefit from the services of Juan Soto for a couple of different reasons. One of which is that with the lack of production coming out of a player like Joey Gallo and Aaron Hicks, this is another player they can plug into that outfield immediately and have beneficial dividends. A left-handed bat in Yankee Stadium is always a benefit. Plus, having someone with this level of recognition to the strike zone can absolutely help filter out through the rest of the team. Could you imagine a lineup where you have to face DJ LeMahieu, Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, Giancarlo Stanton, and Anthony Rizzo, who all battle grind and take pitches through the first five six spots in the lineup that absolutely is detrimental to the ability and the pitch count of an opposing team starting pitcher the new york yankees to me have enough to be able to acquire a guy like juan soto if you're stockpiling all of these prospects in the minor leagues and you're not going to use them on a guy like juan soto there's no reason to stockpile them I think that for the New York Yankees, another reason to acquire him is to keep him away from some of the other competitors in the American League East as well. This, to me, is a team that absolutely should look and at least inquire about what it would cost to trade for Juan Soto. Now, as we get into the number two team on my list, it is that of the Tampa Bay Rays. Now, yes, this may seem like a very, very big stretch. Tampa always has a plethora of talent in their minor leagues ready to go. So, capital-wise, they would be able to acquire the services of Juan Soto. 
The question would then become, are they capable of offering him the kind of long-term deal to keep him planted in Tampa Bay? The other question for Tampa Bay is whether or not they're capable of producing a fan base. This is one of the best teams and has been one of the best teams in Major League Baseball for a very long time. The last decade has seen the Tampa Bay Rays be one of the best teams, especially the way that they're run by the front office. But with that questionable stadium at best, this is a team that absolutely needs to get out of St. Petersburg and move to a different place. Now, whether or not they stay in Tampa Bay and are able to get out of Tropicana Field and be able to build around a guy like Juan Soto as the centerpiece of that move, of that transition for the franchise, we'll have to wait and see if that's even a possibility. But I think Tampa has the capital to be able to acquire a guy like Juan Soto. And could you imagine the ability to build around a player like this, to have investors really solidify themselves like this is a team to now be a formidable threat and a scary threat because you have a centerpiece of your franchise and not a ton of moving parts that you can't bank on year after year. Juan Soto is the type of player that you can bank on year after year. Now as we look at the number one team potentially able to acquire the services of Juan Soto from the Washington Nationals in my opinion, it is that of the Toronto Blue Jays. Yes, there's already a ton of star power here. Young superstars blossoming and going their way to being one of the best teams in Major League Baseball for the next decade to come. Could you imagine adding Juan Soto to that mix? Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette, Kevin Biggio, George Springer, Teoscar Hernandez, and now Juan Soto? That would be an absolutely insane lineup to have to navigate through day after day month after month and year after year. I think the Blue Jays are a team that is absolutely willing and going after it. We've seen it with the acquisitions of Yusei Kikuchi, Kevin Gossman this offseason, bringing in these players to try to cement themselves as a formidable threat in the American League East. Going into the season, they were viewed as the number one team in the American League East. You add Juan Soto back to this lineup and you absolutely push them and skyrocket them back towards the top of not just the American League East, but the American League rankings as a whole. I think there's an opportunity that Juan Soto could be available from the Washington Nationals. And if the Toronto Blue Jays go after him, look out, league. This is a team to absolutely be aware of. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings on this down in the comment section below. Where will Juan Soto end up? Will he remain in Washington and sign a long-term deal there? Or is he going to be traded? Whether it be this year, next year, or the year after, he still has two and a half years left in his deal. But the longer you wait, if you're the Washington Nationals, the less you receive back for this player of superstar level capabilities. But again, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below or find me over on Twitter at jlatacuente19 to keep the conversation rolling. As always, keep it locked into the entire JLMG family with We Sid from the Grand and Geek Show, of course, here on the Baseball Banter Broadcast. For sticking around to this point, head over to BaseballBanterBroadcast.com. Use the promo code BANTER to save 5% off your order on our merchandise shop. Keep it locked in all season long as we continue to bring you the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.